In fact, uh, joining us now on Gravitas is uh, the man who engineered this win, uh, Sayed Akbaruddin, India's representative at the United Nations. Uh, thank you for speaking with us. My first question to you, uh, what does this win mean for India? Uh, it was an effort uh, which was led by a political leadership, uh, backed by a, a diplomatic establishment in Delhi, and uh, a global reach of uh, uh, diplomatic missions. So what you saw reflected in New York was a translation of an enormous effort that was made globally on this count. Um, things are changing in the world. Uh, this reflects a change uh, a willingness for, uh, uh, um, uh, amongst uh, the global community to accommodate uh, uh, an India which is willing to contribute in a cooperative and collaborative manner uh, to uh, uh, an international order which is evolving. Right. Uh, uh, can you take us through what went into this win? What sort of uh, what sort of strategy did India follow to ensure uh, that uh, Justice Bhandari, who had overwhelming support at the United Nations, finally uh, won this election? Uh, look, uh, India and uh, UK have uh, very good ties, and uh, the graciousness with which they acknowledge that the Indian judge perhaps uh, has a broader uh, uh, broader support uh, amongst the world community is indicative that we work collaboratively and cooperatively um, uh, in multilateral organs as well as bilaterally. Yes, uh, when it is a election uh, uh, an election among friends, sometimes speech is generated, but uh, we are grateful for the graciousness with which they've uh, accepted the outcome of a fair and equitable process. to cast their votes. Uh, you said that this was a concerted diplomatic effort on the part of India. What does it mean? Uh, you see, uh, such um, outcomes can only happen if we engage with 193 countries or uh, leaving us out, 192 countries. Um, for that, you need uh, all our investments globally to touch base with their counterparts in different parts of the globe because countries vote according to their instructions. Um, instructions come from capital. Um, so while New York is the scene where the final decision is taken, there is a lot of work which is behind the scenes uh, led by our political leadership. Uh, who have made numerous calls at uh, uh, strategic occasions uh, to push our case. Our ambassadors in every country mobilized to seek support from their, where they were located. Our foreign office in Delhi uh, was in touch with more than 150 countries' embassies who are located in Delhi. So that's the breadth of this effort. Uh, I am only a small little foot soldier in New York uh, who is privileged to see this happen on the ground. But behind is a huge diplomatic effort and we owe our success today to that huge diplomatic effort and the recognition by the world that India needs space and needs to be accommodated. Uh, that's your humility. Is it the first time uh, that India was in a runoff with a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council? That's right. Uh, this is the first time that any country has been victorious in a runoff with a permanent member. Uh, this reflects a changing world order. Um, we did not plan for it. We did not plot for it. But it happened. Yes, we utilized that opportunity to do our best and to reflect what is really change that is happening.
Prime Minister Narendra Modi has long been calling for uh, reform at the United Nations. Uh, does this, uh, in a way, pave the way for further reform at the Security Council as, uh, as well as the UN at large? You know, uh, any organization which is living requires to adapt and adjust itself. Uh, the UN Security Council and the UN itself it is no uh, exception to that. Uh, given the fact that it was established seven years ago, uh, there are contemporary realities uh, which need to be accommodated. There is a wide-ranging acceptance of that. How that process will play out is the only factor here. That process can play out either in a very uh, structured manner or change can happen the way it happened. Either way, we will be ready, and I'm confident that any opportunity, either in a structured manner, uh, through the regular process, or through situation which we don't plan for, uh, will be to our benefit, because there is a growing recognition globally that India is ready and willing to contribute uh, gl uh, globally, and the world is ready to accept and accommodate our, um, um, our um, uh, willingness to uh, work with our partners globally. Were India's efforts for a re-election a steady process from the very beginning, right from the time when all the positions were open for a contest? Uh, yes. Um, uh, we uh, began this process some months ago. We made our best efforts. Um, always a multi cornered election with um, uh, multiple votes have a different dynamic uh, compared to direct elections where the runoff is between two contending viewpoints. In a multi cornered election, um, people get five votes to vote. Some may use all their five, some may not use all their five. Uh, there is a lot of tactical voting going on uh, in, multiple, uh, in multi cornered elections. Uh, whereas in ballot contest, the true normal weight of countries is evident. Multicolored elections do not provide that opportunity. So the opportunity we had in a direct contest uh, was clearly one where our normal weight prevailed. Said so, Akburuddin, thanks very much for speaking with us. More power to you and to Team India, the United Nations. And on that note, it's a wrap on this edition of Gravitas, leaving you with Gravitas Images. Thanks very much for watching.